Hello everyone, it's me Jordan back today, and uh, yeah, playing some more Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, and yeah, crap load of episodes today guys, I know, pretty crazy, but last time we left off, we finished, we beat, we beat the uh, gym leader Watson, and we used Rock Smash, we got the HM for strength, and now we're going to be going up here, so let's put, I know there's a double battle about to show up, so I'm going to go ahead and put up Bubbles and Roderick. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, so this these two guys. Um I said a Magnemite and Wish Market. Not looking good. Okay, we gotta get rid of that Magnemite, that's for sure. So we're gonna Damn, I got like nothing to use on that guy. And I missed. And I just <sighs> Did I just use Oh I have Shockwave. Damn it, what am I doing? Why am I missing? Okay, he's about to die, so I gotta... <clears throat> slave? No. Definitely not slave. Okay, this is a waste of time. This is why we need Blitz, like, all the time. Seriously. And there you go, they go down, and... Everyone getting XP. Okay, now these guys are pretty cool. They, um, actually, no, it's kind of gay to be honest. It's kind of like annoying to be honest. Uh, every time they battle you, and they're going to battle you actually quite a lot of times throughout the game, at just random times, and they're going to ask you to explain the battle in an interview. And so we're obviously, we're going to find this. I'm going to go ahead and, okay. So if I were to explain this battle in one word, how would I explain it? Obviously, Nukata, that's how I would explain that battle. I don't know about you guys, but. Yeah, and they're like, yes, the perfect clincher. Then make it seem like I actually made sense saying that. Sort of pop. And uh, we're gonna be catching new Pokemon. I don't know if it's in this episode, but it is going to be soon. I'm not even sure when though. Okay, let's put balls up front. And damn balls, when are you learning bell beam? Seriously. Actually, no, it doesn't even matter, because I can destroy grass types as well. And water types, too. Yeah. I can beat them, too. And boom. Get out of here. Okay. And okay, another battle. See, like a sentry, like, oh, like, I wish I knew bow beams so I could actually beat this thing. Oh my gosh. Supersonic, why do I miss? 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 There you go. <laughs> That's really funny. And I missed again, are you kidding me? Kill yourself! Like, literally die. Okay, this is just a battle of like... This battle is taking forever, seriously. I'm not dying. Both. I'm warning you right now, if you die, you are off the team. Seriously. Sand attack. Oh, that's why I'm missing. Oh, what am I saying? Come on, just, just, just one more, two more hits, come on, come on. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit, there you go, good job, GG. <sighs> Actually, no, not GG, that, that stands for good game, that was not a good game at all, that was a freaking crap game, seriously. Okay, anyways, and I just used like all the power points for freaking acid. Okay, that's good, and bow beam, damn it. Come on! I, th I swear, I thought he actually learned it at that level. I was I got excited. Stop it. So, did you say you want to sing with me? I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Lombre, nope, I can just... Okay, so this, this route is actually pretty good for... Um, for bubbles. And... Yeah. By the way, you can come in here and you can catch some cool new Pokemon. There's actually a lot of cool new Pokemon you can catch at this point. By the way, if you're looking for a fire type for your team, this is where you'll get it. 100% because there's three new there's three new uh, fire types you can get at this point in the game. You can get yourself a Numble, as we just saw. It was a really good fire type, and I used them on the last team I played with. You can also catch yourself a Slugma, which we battled before. It's like They're basically like a Pokemon made of lava. They're pretty good too. They evolve into a fire rock type, which is pretty cool. 
And then the last, last thing you can also catch yourself a Torkoal, which maybe we'll see as we're running through here. Because this is where you catch it. But I guess we're only gonna run into Numbles. No, seriously, I actually wanna show you guys. Come on. There you go, see? Yeah, you can catch yourself a Torkoal. Really cool Pokemon. If you saw the anime, then Ash uses him on his team. And there's a double battle here, and I actually wanted to do it. So, no, no! Whatever. No, do not. Thank you. I'm not trying to do that. We're not playing that game, okay? Understand? We're not. I guess they'll just poison them, because I don't want to use all the acids up. Yeah, and apparently we gotta do. <sighs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Why can't you learn water type moves? Whatever, it's fine. And I'm burned now. Are you kidding me? I okay, no, no, okay, okay, that was close. And raspberries, and those are I know for a fact those are for healing uh, burns, which makes sense because there's a lot of fire type stuff going on around this time of the game. And is there any secret items in here? Merald, cool. I actually think he might learn bubble beam at 25. I'm really hoping he does, so I'm gonna quickly level him up. But not if we find numbles. Okay. So I'm gonna level him up right here and I and I hope, I really hope. Please. Yes! Whew! <sighs> finally guys, I can't even explain how happy I am. He's learning all of me. He's finally gonna become useful. And poison thing, it does have a chance of poisoning, but I'm just gonna use acid, so and I don't constrict. Actually, no, yeah, just gonna constrict. What am I saying? Constrict is terrible. I don't use it. I don't do anything. And there you go. Learn bell beam. Very happy. Very happy. And it's definitely gonna be useful because there's a lot of fire types. Yeah, I already said that. Okay. Anyways, so there's a chain up here. And wow, perfect timing. As soon as I learned uh, bell beam, then this guy shows up. I'm that there. And of course he's gonna paralyze me. Uh, of course. And I still beat him somehow. Paralyzed, come on. Don't miss. Wow, looks like... Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. Come on, damn it. Yeah, that was expected. But whatever. Because Aaron's just gonna come in and finish it off. And yeah, those guys, the uh, like the rich kids, are cool trainer. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Not rich kids. They usually have really cool Pokemon, so I like to battle them. Pretty cool. Okay, now this guy. This guy just looking at a tree like a weirdo. This guy is um, pretty cool. He can actually he'll give you the TM for 43, which is secret power, pretty sure. And it's actually a pretty good move. And then for whatever reason, he just walks off. Now, secret power, very interesting move. Um, you can basically use it on like the little holes and see, like yeah, that thing right down there. Like that. In the bottom right corner, that little hole right there, you can use it on things like that or trees, and you can create like a secret base inside of them, which is pretty cool. It's obviously, it's, it's not necessary, and it's um, it really is pointless if you're trying to just complete the game. But yeah, by the way, you can come here and talk to her, and she'll heal up your Pokemon. And if you look on TV, in search of trainers, Gabby, hi today, and visit an area near route. We're trying to spot some. New talent in the field. Today we turned our lens to the trainer Jordan. Hey, we're on TV. And there's something interesting about this trainer. Cool. <laughs> That's how we ended our battle. Jordan is ruthlessly strong. Thank you. The combination of Loudred and Combuskin <laughs> was divine. The sight of them, Loudred and Combuskin, selflessly supporting each other in the thick. Yeah, I guess it is true. Yeah. <laughs> Double kick. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just so funny how. And the trainer replied, Ninkata. Jordan's put one louder than Combustion and Ninkata. <laughs> I love how they make it seem like there's actually something <laughs> interesting about the battle. I always find this funny. And damn it, no, we do need the Bach bike. Just kidding, you don't actually. All there is up there is just one trainer and I think maybe an item? I'm not sure. But no, it's, it's fine. Not a big deal. So we'll get all these berries, right? Better get the berries. Orange berries. 
Anna. Oh, hey, Anna. I don't really care. And, okay. So, now what are we gonna do here? By the way, um, the next gym is a fire type gym. So, obviously, Bubbles is gonna come in the most. He's gonna be the, probably the most helpful on my team. So, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna try to use him as much right now because. Obviously, he's gonna be used a lot. At the gym, so. Put him away from now. Not away, but just like. Not in the front spots. So there you go. Okay, now we got a trainer right here. And she's got a wingle. Oh, and we got shockwave, so that's really nice. And Nummel. Okay, well, we're not getting shockwave in that, but we are gonna uproar. And a Rosalia. Oh, wrong. Just as long as you don't freaking paralyze me. She said she likes people like me. Okay. Pretty cool, thanks. Now this phase, this phase is really weird. I never really understood this completely, but apparently it's like rainy dust. And yeah, you can catch slugmas here. Um, it's like rainy dust, and I guess all the grass is dusty, but then when you walk on it, um, it becomes clean. It's really weird. And yeah. So, I could set repels, but I don't have that much, so I, I think I'm just gonna walk through this. By the way, some, you can catch some really cool Pokemon here, you can catch some new ones, you can catch Slugma, like I said, and you can also catch Spinda. It's a very, it's a very bad Pokemon, but it's, uh, it's new, and it, it's very interesting. But I actually hate Spindas. Yeah, man, they are right there. They're very common, I think it's like, probably like a 95% chance you're gonna, you're gonna see a Spinda wild here. By the way, if you see those little things right here, you can get, uh, there's items there. And then I will come here. Oh, damn. Ooh. Okay, how can we do this? Okay, shockwave on that. And anyone who thinks, yeah, it actually is neutral. A lot of people think that shocking a uh, rock type would not be very effective, but apparently it is. Which, to be honest, doesn't really make any sense. But I don't care, because we're able to take him down. So there you go. And oh yeah, by the way, the coolest Pokemon you catch on the tree, which I didn't mention is Skarmory. Now Skarmory is a very cool Pokemon. Um, it's very good actually. Um, I was actually planning on using one on my team. I was really thinking about it. I decided to go with someone else who I will be catching fairly soon. Yeah, but you can catch yourself Skarmory in this grass. They're very, very rare. So if you find one, I would catch it, even if you're not using one. Well, actually no, that's not true. And make sure you come around here because you can get yourself a nugget, which you can sell for money. So literally their purpose is to be sold. And you get a super repel, which is nice, because I actually need repels. And if I, and I, if I uh, ran into a scummery there, I, I would probably would have caught it. Even though I'm not using it. Okay, now let's put up Aaron. And Slave has got the next attack. Yay! Just kidding. No, I'm not happy. Yeah, Skarmory is a steel flying type. That's why I didn't use one because I don't want two steel types on my team. I'm someone who I, I don't use two of the same types like ever. <gasps> Thank God that messed up what it just showed me. Oh my gosh. Gotta watch out for those magnitudes. Okay, seems like we got another double battle here, but let's get this item first. And they're two little girls, and they have spindas. Okay. For a headbutt and a shockwave. There you go, and there you go. Easy. Nice teamwork. Okay. Talk to this guy. Wow, today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here. I, it can be fashioned into glass. Hmm, that's actually pretty interesting. Not. Headbutt. Headbutt, 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 headbutt. What do we got here? Coffin. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like I said, guys, it actually takes a long time for Aaron to evolve. Like, seriously, he's level 26. He should definitely be evolved. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest, but whatever. It's all worth it, because once you guys, you'll see once he evolves. And to his final form, he is a beast. And talk to that guy, you get a suit sack. I think it's for collecting dust. I, I don't know what that, the point of that is, but... It's fun to blow a glass flute while my boss is talking. Okay then. <clears throat> you can come down here. Any secret items? 
I don't know if the secret item thing counts for if there's items on rocks. I'm not sure. But it does for one of those items right here. Team 30 double team. That is... Wow. I'm actually going to probably do that to someone later on. No item. Yeah, make sure you find that because double team is actually a very good move. can come in very helpful. Um, can be very helpful. And okay, there you go. Okay, now we got another double battle here and we're almost on this route. Route. Whatever. I always get confused. Route or route. I don't know. Discovery. Okay, so yeah, there's a scum right there, which is pretty cool. Very good book one, and I literally have no idea how I'm gonna about to take it out. Think of something. Okay, what am I gonna do? Okay, what will do the most damage here? Honestly, like, there's no moves that would do any damage. Oh gosh. I'm not even gonna waste time, guys. I could be, I could just take, I could just speed it up. But, I'm not gonna do that. No, not packed. There you go. Not wasting my time. And there you go. Now, we're done that road, and we are in Folliver Town. Or Folliver? I don't even know. Folliver, Folliver, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. Don't know how to pronounce it. Don't care. There's no gym here, it's nothing special. But you can do some things. So I'm gonna start off by selling that nugget. And do they have repels here? Thank god, they have super repels here. And I can buy 82 of those. So we are actually slowly getting a lot of money in this game. I can buy 20 of those. That should last me quite a while. And I buy 10 more of those. Okay, that's definitely enough. So let's go ahead and move the super repels. Up there. Where's the... No, yeah, the super repels. Where's the super potions? There you go. So we're all good. Now, Father Town, I don't really know what items there are to be found. So she's useless, and I know for a fact there is a secret item right here. Don't ask me how I know that. I just find random stuff. I just, I, I'm very good at like knowing what hidden items and where they would be. I'm the move tutor, and he can teach moves to your Pokemon for a heart scale, and I actually do have one of those. So which Pokemon should I try to teach? Um, basically. He doesn't teach new moves, he just teaches old moves that you might have gotten rid of on your Pokemon. And I actually don't really have any moves that I, I think that would come in handy for, but I'm just gonna look. So like, see, like I turned down all these moves, if you guys remembered, and I got rid of all these moves. But if you regretted getting rid of a move, you can come here and you can get any of these moves back. But I don't need that, so yeah. Uh, You should probably come back later to check what kind of moves you can get once you have new put one, but for now, we don't need that. And this place is really random. You, you can talk to her, you get TM28 to dig. Which I think, oh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and teach that to my guy. And I don't know what this place is. No idea. Come talk to this guy, and damn it. Okay. Oh, and he has a barboat, which is a really cool book one. I haven't seen one of them. That was the first time. Okay, now. I see gyms new moves, because we have a lot of new TMs. Okay, a dig. Dig is a very good move. And, yep. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, okay, so it is, it is 60. Okay, it's not actually that good, to be honest. But it is way better than Mudslap, that's for sure. So let's get rid of Mudslap, and there you go. Now what else can I teach? Double team? I think I'm going to wait on that one, because... I don't... There might... I might have to teach it to someone else. And that's a very strategical move that's gonna come in handy for sh later on, so I'll leave it for now. Secret power. Okay, who can I teach that to? I think I'm gonna teach it to Roger. But first, I wanna see how much damage it is. It has 70 base damage? Jeez. That is very good. We could, get, we could just get rid of Upward now. An attack with effects that vary by location. I'm gonna give it up for. So there you go. Hopefully I don't regret that, but it does, does it does do way more damage, so should be good there. Yeah. 
Anyways, you can go talk to this guy and he gave you team up five. So weird is <laughs> this game is going crazy with the freaking TMs. Not gonna do that though. And I think we got this double battle right here, and I think this is gonna probably be the last battle of this episode. And dig. I'm gonna see how much secret power it has. Did, did it do anything? I'm very confused. Yeah, I just one shot it. Okay, definitely a good move. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go, we got the energy powder. Actually, no, let's do one more. Let's just walk down here. Battle this guy. Magikarp. Nice. Take that out. Okay, headbutt. And a Goldeen. Good thing these things are missing because. I am weak to water, so. Okay, we're all done there, and. Okay, no battle. Damn. Okay. This is actually something very important we're gonna be doing on this route. So that's why I kinda wanna get these battles out of the way, but I think I'm actually. I'm gonna do that thing next episode. And is there a secret item here? Yes, there is. Five. Like, I don't know, I don't understand. Like, I'm very good at knowing where the items are. And you can come get a bunch of Persian berries. Which I don't really care about, but. Anyways, and. Okay, there's no secret names. I'm coming here, and what's going on here? I don't even know. Some random crap. Talk, you can get a bolt block. Block berry. Come up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Come over here, you can click on this rock and nothing will happen. Okay. No, go away. Okay, this is the last battle for this episode. And that is for sure. So I'm gonna, you know what? Screw. I'm not gonna speed it up because it's the last battle for this episode. Okay. Now we got dig. And that is super effective graveler, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. And secret power. There you go. Okay, that is overpowered. Overpowered. And Avon's gonna dig a hole. Okay, I guess we'll just go for Super Hard. It's not gonna do anything, but. There's a decent amount of damage. And Dig, hopefully, take it out, and. Oh, damn. Is ground special? No, I had Mud Slap, so. I don't even know. Probably should just use Metal Claw. Doesn't matter. There you go. Battle over, and. That's gonna be all for this episode. Next episode, we're actually gonna be doing something very special. We're maybe gonna be adding someone to our team. Hint, hint. So, see you all next time. Peace.